This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Why live in darkness when the light of God's word has solutions? Kakra is the teacher of the word who also ministers with miracles and prophetic anointing. He's the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. You're welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra has been preaching on the subtitle, Fruitfulness, under the main theme, Connected. He spoke about what it means to be fruitful, and today promises to be more revealing. Let's join him. John chapter 15, let's turn the Bible. Last week, I said a shame from the subject, Fruitfulness. John 15 verse 1, Jesus is speaking. He said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman or the farmer. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it or he prunes it, that it may bring forth much fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I've spoken unto you. Verse 4. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can you, except you abide in me. Five, I am the vine, and you are the branches. He that abideth in me, in other words, if you want to come to Jesus, you must take the first step. The initiative lies with you. And I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. And it's true. If God doesn't give you his breath, you cannot even rise up. It means you are dead. That's what it is. Verse 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it will be done unto you. This one gives a key to answer prayer. Jesus said, a prayer that is backed with ignorance does not bring results. It says what brings results is when his word is in you. So most people assume that once they are praying, it means that, I mean, God will answer. God answers prayer based on his word. That's why it's important if you're going to have a very powerful prayer life to know the word of God. Because it generates faith and it tells you what is outside the will of God and what is inside the will of God. And it also makes you spiritual to be able to communicate with the Holy Spirit effectively. Verse 8, even so is my Father glorified that you bring forth much fruit. So it says we glorify God when we produce fruit. So today I want to continue my series on fruitfulness. Somebody say fruitfulness. You know, in life, one of the things that makes you fruitful is the people that you are connected to. When you are connected to the wrong people, it makes you unfruitful. When you are connected to the right people, it makes you fruitful. Proverbs 22 verse 24. It says, Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest Thou learn his ways. Thou learn his ways. Connection. Now, the best person to be connected to is Jesus. I mean, imagine that if you are connected to people, if you are connected to politicians, you can get big contracts based on your connections. One day I was talking to a certain, a certain gentleman and he, he, he was talking to me about, he was outside this country and he was, I, I met him outside this country, he was talking to me about how he had a big breakthrough. And he said to me, I, I just met, met one top guy in my country. And he said, and when I met him, we just had a chat. He said, after the chat, he said, the guy just opened the door for me and my wife. He said, that was it. He said, from that moment, I became a rich man. He had been to school, he had been to whatever, but it didn't change anything. One man told me, another man I met him also, also outside this country, he told me he met a president of a certain country. 
And when he met the president, he was very broke. And he said, the president, he told the president that he was very broke. And the president said, follow me. He told me the president led him to a room. And he opened the door. He entered the room. He said, whoa. He saw a log table, bundles of dollars. And the president said to him, help yourself. Now, if people can have such an impact, you can imagine the impact that Christ will have on you if you are properly connected. You can imagine. Connection. So last week I explained to you that when we are connected to Christ, Jesus said, abide in me and I in you. He said, when you are connected, he said, you become fruitful. And I said, what did he mean when he said fruitful? It means your character, or the fruit of the Spirit, which can be summed up in one word, character, a good character. Galatians 5.22, it says, the fruit of the Spirit, same word, fruit, is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, 24 says, meekness, temperance, against such, there is no law. It can be summed up in one way, character. When you are connected to Jesus, you develop a good character. There are some people, if they connect to your wife, your wife will develop a bad character. There are some people, if they connect to your husband, your husband will develop a bad character. But when you connect to Jesus, you develop a good character. Connection. Number two, it means winning souls or having converts. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30, it says, The fruit of the righteous, which means a righteous person who has given his life to Christ Jesus, produces a particular fruit. What fruit is that? It's a tree of life, which means he produces another human being and the person receives eternal life from God because the person becomes born again. Then it says, he that winneth souls is wise. Then it says that that tree I'm talking about, I'm talking about somebody who has given his life to Christ Jesus. Then it said, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth much more than the wicked and the sinner. So it said, even soul winning, it has rewards. So God will pay you. May God pay you. And I like the way God pays. You know, God pays with, with the most important things in life are intangible. Like you are there and you don't have anything to worry about. It's one of the greatest blessings God can give to you. You are there. You don't have anything to worry about. You are blessed. Because you can have one million dollars, but if you have things to worry about, even sleep, you can sleep. So, we must not make the mistake of counting wealth only in material things. It's more than that. The most important things in life are actually invisible. That's why you can't see your kidney. I've never seen my kidney before. Have you seen your kidney before? But I have seen your Brazilian hair. We don't need it. We can cut it off. But the most important thing, like your kidney, is invisible. Number three, what does it mean? It means material blessings. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 11, God said, The Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. After this service, may your goods increase. I didn't hear you, amen. May your goods increase. Yeah. When you come to him, I say amen. Why? Because Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 6, it says, even the prophet Jeremiah, he said amen. And you, you don't want to say amen. <laughs> I said, may the Lord make you plenteous in goods. It says, in the fruit of thy body, 
in the fruit of thy cattle. Those days they were all farmers. That's their job. In the fruit of thy ground. So what it means is that God will bless your family and bless your business. Those were material things. He said, but you will bear fruit in those areas. So it is my prayer that in this church, there will be no poor person in this church. That should be our story. Can I hear your amen? Amen. Somebody say, I'm the one. If you'd like to give your life to Jesus Christ, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. Come and live in my heart and be the Lord of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Dear Kakra, I sent you a message concerning the fact that for eight months, I did not receive salary. I also had major issues with my boss. You wrote back that you had prayed for me. Weeks later, things took a different turn. Part of my salary has now been paid and the relationship between my boss and I have improved. We give God all the glory. Grow in your Christian life with audio sermons from Kakra Bading on your mobile devices on the go. Here's how. Go to Play Store or Windows Store on your Android or Windows mobile devices and search for Kakra Bading Air Power. Download, install and instantly access life-changing audio sermons by Kakra Bading. It's that simple. Kakra Bading Air Power app on the go with a word. Good values have to be chosen intentionally because there are people around they will try to change your values who you are is a reflection of your values your values are developed consciously or unconsciously success is conscious and christian values have to be developed consciously this message will inspire you to develop the right values for a successful christian life you can order this message series through the following means Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Values at the comment section or message window. Send an email to info at or call us on WhatsApp or send a WhatsApp message to plus 233 55 seven hundred ninety ten. That's plus 233 You can place a regular call or send a text to plus 233 That's plus 233 20757521. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 Send an email to info at org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you, even if it is a brief note.